Okay, guys, you hear me clearly? Yes, go ahead. Okay, okay. So, what is a L3 wireless roaming? Okay, let me let me make the example. You can see in this topology, we have the phone in the IP1 area, right? IP1 area. When, when this phone connect to IP1, then when uh, IP, when receives the IP address belong to VLAN 10, okay? Belong to VLAN 10. And then uh, this mobile phone moving to IP2 area. However, IP2 area is assigned VLAN 20 to, to terminal, right? To client. So if, if I'm moving from uh, IP1 area to IP2 area, what's happened? If don't have the layer three running, right? Don't have right, layer three running. My connection will be will be interrupt, right? No roaming. The connection will be will be interrupt, and my phone will connect to IP two and receive the IP address of VLAN twenty. Okay, receive VLAN twenty. So with the layer three roaming technology, my phone connect to IP one belong to VLAN 10, moving to IP2 area and connect to IP2 area. But my phone will keep IP, keep section, no connection interrupt, okay? It means if you uh, make some video call like the WhatsApp, like the Telegram call, and you moving from IP1 to IP2, and the, the calling session will, 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 not be, will not be interrupt, okay? Same address ID, same address ID, same IP address. That is layer three roaming, okay? For layer three roaming, we have to enable on the cloud or on the e-web and select the and select the SSID to enable layer three roaming. Let me make the yeah let's see. On the e-web, right? you need to enable layer three roaming. It's enable layer three roaming. On the cloud also same. Need to enable layer three roaming. Layer two roaming is enabled by default. You don't, you don't need to to configure the the layer two roaming. So enable layer three roaming on the on the cloud web. Let's check again. Okay, enable. Hi, Kelvin. I, I have a question. Yes. Can, can you explain how the devices decide change the client? Is for signal strange or what is happening when it becomes to another AP? AP? So how, how works? Sorry, can can you repeat again? I, I didn't hear you clearly. 
Yes. Um, for example, how is the things the AP counts to move an, a client uh, between one oh. AP to another? Is signal strange or how decides these moves? Okay, I, I got you. The, the AP one will make the tunnel to AP two. Okay, to, to let the AP2 know I will I will move the, the 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 client to you, move client to you, connect to you, but keep the keep the connection, uh, keep the section, keep uh, the, the tunnel between yes. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we need to enable like three running here. And the practic question uh, ask. Yesterday, Mr. Bakir uh, explained about the captive portal on the get easy gateway, right? So the question is, our Facebook authentication is now available for free gateway or not? You guys? The answer is B, right? Now we e-gateway is not support Facebook authentication, okay. Do you have a date release for this uh, implementation or is uh, too complicated to to see yeah, this? Let me show you. Because of the, you can see here, because of the Facebook policy is now, we are under the, uh, negotiation. Yes, I, I ask you. I ask you this because many clients are to uh, asking this this too. So in another brands, they have these options, but um, I don't know how to say for my clients is what is the thing we don't have this in Rui. If you can explain me to to explain them. Uh, Actually, is it uh, depend on the Facebook policy? Yeah, we, we have no estimate. Um, one it is available, we, we will uh, inform to you. Okay, thank you. Okay. So we continue with uh, VPN. Okay, what is a VPN? Uh, on our re gateway now support four kind of VPN now. The first we will say let me say the second is now two TP. The third one is TP TP. And the last one is open VPN. It's available on easy two cents. Okay. Our easy support for kind of the VPN. IPSAF VPN, L2TP, PPTP, and OpenVPN. However, OpenVPN is available on the Easy 200 and the Easy 300 only. Okay. And now we're talking about the IPSAF VPN. For the IPSAF VPN, we support the side to side, right? Side to side. And uh, for the headquarter, of the headquarter. Uh, maximum of the tunnel is eight. 
maximum return is yes. if the if the gateway play at at the VPN server, okay, play at VPN server, and if the easy router play at the branch, so the tunnel from branch to headquarter is only one, okay. And the throughput, let me. Only twenty five and this is for IP set people. Okay, you got it. If if you if you want to choose the uh, so the headquarter right as a headquarter device, I suggest you choose this model to play as a VPN server. Okay, we we will have the two hundred thirty amps for the throughput, but uh, some model like the 105 and 210 GC, GCP, we have only 25, okay? With the eight, total eight tunnel. This, is, this model is recommend for the hash button. Okay. okay, so how to configure the VPN? For the server side, right? For the server side, it means the hash button, right? You can go to the VPN and select IPsec and click the Z button. And the policy type, we have to choose the server, right? The choose the server. Policy name is the, uh, whatever you, you enter here is also accept. And the interface, if you have more than uh, one internet line, you should select the, the, the one interface that you want to to VPN go go out, right? The local subnet is a uh, uh, headquarter local subnet, headquarter uh, subnet, right? And you should uh, input the correct preset key for both side, server side and client side. Need to same and status enable. For the IK, IKE policy, in here we cannot choose the IKE version, right? Actually, only version one support, not support version two. Okay, not support version two. You you can you can uh, go with the default configuration, and also connection policy. You, you can go with the default configuration or the better performance. For the client side, also same, right? Uh, we need to log into the, 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 the brand device and go to VPN, select IPsec, and then click to this button to add new policy. And the policy time now we need to choose Client, okay. We need to choose client. Policy name you can uh, enable the, the name that you want. Don't need to same with the server side. Okay. The peer gateway. Uh, what is the peer gateway meaning? The peer gateway is mean we need to uh, fill the IP address of the server side, right? So the the one interface of the server side. 
also you 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 can you can uh, enable uh, you, you can put the domain name here at at I mentioned yesterday uh, with the Rusi DDNS right to see dynamic DNA. The interface also we need to choose the interface that you want to VPN go out. The local subnet is a client side subnet. Peer subnet is server subnet. And for Psyche, we need to uh, put the correct free Psyche, same as the server side. Okay, Status enable. Here we keep default configuration. Then, okay. After finish, you can go to IPC connection status to check. Status connection is okay. I can see here we have in and out from the client side to server side, right? Okay, for your two GP, PPTP, very, very easy, right? Very easy to, to configuration. That's you that to enable L2TP or PPTP on and select the server and input the uh, local sub local IP address that you want to assign for client that and then click to save and after that you will create the, 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 the username and password for uh, VPN connection here. Choose the service type, you can choose own or choose uh, L2TP, PPTP based on the configuration. Okay. And input the password and the network mode. If you uh, die, if, if you connect the VPN from uh, the PC or from the smartphone or from the or tablet, you can you need to choose the network mode, if PC to router. And uh, if you want to connect the uh, uh, L2TP or PPTP from the other router, you need to choose the router to router, okay? Here you, you can configure the L2TP for on the other router to connect to, to, to S router, okay? To connect to S. L2TP also support monitor tunnel list. You can see here, we have the one tunnel after L2TP at that list. Okay, we have some question related to VPN. The question is uh, which of the following option is correct? The first option, IP self VPN configuration, the policy name of the client and server must be same, otherwise the negotiation will be failed. This statement is incorrect, right? Statement incorrect. The name don't need to same, right? The name don't need, the policy name don't need to save. For the data security, I can use both. PPTP, VPN, and IPSAF VPN. No, right? PPTP not support uh, two over IPSAF, right? Only, only L2TP can, can support L2TP over IPSAF. In the configuration of the IPSAF VPN, we can configuration version two of IKE, right? No, only support version one. So this statement also incorrect. So the last statement, IP self VPN between re gateway and Ruchi gateway can can establish this only correct, right? Even you can configuration the IP self VPN between re gateway and Third party vendor like the FortiGate, like the Brightech, something, some like it. You, you can configure. 
Once I'll, once I'll stop off, okay. For enterprise security, we have the ARP and Mark filtering, right? For ARP, if you enable the ARP guards, the only device in this list with the IP unrest and the Mark unrest is able to to connect to connect to internet. Okay, the other device cannot cannot connect to internet. Okay, if you enable the IP guards. For the Mark filtering, for the Mark two. Let me make the simple. Like the IP phone. You can try, you can try. I, I never tried before. I, I think can if the IP phone can support the open VPN client. So if you choose the uh, likely right, right? So, so, the, the device in the filtering rule will not able to, to access the internet. If you choose the wireless and enable the mark filtering, then only device in this filtering rule can access to the internet. Okay, the filtering rule we support up to eighty, up to eighty device only. Okay. Local safety. This is our own no, own technology. Okay. Own technology. This is a new function on the. The new version. Uh, for the new version, I think we we win arrange the arrangement the, the the another training for the new version of the gateway. Okay. Uh, for today, we we have not enough the time to to cover on the new function. Application control. Uh, yes, easy to to ten to ten when we when we support same as the uh, easy three hundred three 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 ten for application control to let you block some applications that you don't want to the staff the access like the. Like the some social media application, like the TikTok, like the Facebook, or like the YouTube, right? Like the YouTube. So you you don't want the uh, watching YouTube video or watching TikTok in the working hour, right? You, you want to block that app, so you you can using application control to block. Uh, for application control signature, now we support around 100 application and total free about to update engine also free. Let me make the demo chase. For the new version, right? You can see the application control now support up to 50 entry, but the old version only 20, okay, only 20. Choose the uh, international library. Select that. You can uh, you can uh, choose to block own IP address, or you can choose block to someone. You just want block block someone.
For example, this is uh, my, my staff uh, IP unrest segment. I, I, I don't want the uh, access to uh, Facebook and YouTube in the working hour, right? Yes, yes. Uh, the application control, the web filtering, the VPN, the, the other the admin function will be effect to the router performance. Excuse me, Kelvin, uh, I have a question. Yes. This, this can uh, uh, block the, the APPs based on MAC address or something specific for a client, no matter the AP address? No, now we support only IP and RED up, up to now. Okay, how can I resolve if I need to block a specific um, client and I have a different um, a range of IPs? So how I can resolve this? You, you, you can, yeah, we have the, we have the clan management. Uh, sorry, we have the user management. Okay, you can define the user manage user here. Okay, I I, I create a specific group in yes. user yes. management for this client. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got it. Yeah, you, you can uh, define the uh, client uh, based on IP or based on MAC address here. And then, oh. for example, I put in MAC address. Oh, I see, I see. Got it. Thank you. Like this. And then, you buy to application control and you choose the group and you choose the, 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 the user group that you, that you just uh, create. Okay. For example, now I block own user to access to the YouTube and Facebook. And TikTok. I don't want they to to uh, access their social media in the working time, right? Working time is seven eight to seventeen. So, own user under the user group cannot access to, to their service anymore, okay? The time is, is by on the quota, by on the quota time. Okay, okay that is the application control. The web filtering also same as application control, but web filtering will let you block the, by domain name, right? Block by domain name. Application control lets you block the website based on signature, right? By on signature. But web filtering will let you block website by on domain name. That is a difference between application control and web filtering. Okay. The working way is similar. But uh, the the ties. Okay. First, we need to create the web website rule, and then we 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 make the web filtering rule to block the website. Okay. Okay. The last the last part of router is troubleshooting. So 
the first guy is IPsec VPN fail. So what happened? What is the root cause? The first thing may be related to the connection policy and IKE, right? And the second thing it may be related to preset key. And the last one it may be related to VPN server behind the behind the another router, right? Like the uh, our easy gateway here, but the before our easy gateway maybe have the uh, another router and go to IP like it. It's easy here. All right. So our easy behind the router. So it means the VPN is under the under the hub. Okay. So what is the solution? The first solution you can check the uh, configuration between HQ and and friends. So be same like the uh, IKE, like the connection policy should be same, right? And the second thing is preset key, right? The preset key should be same, also should be same. Otherwise, uh, uh, the IP second uh, cannot be as uh, cannot be established. The third solution, if the, our gateway behind another router, right? So we need to we need to open port, right? We need to open port UDP five hundred and UDP four thousand five hundred, and change the local ID type from the IP to name. Local ID type from the IP to name. Let me show you. Here you can see local type chain from IP to, to name. If our if our gateway behind the behind behind the the, the NAT router, okay, local ID should be changed to to name. The second key is the VPN success, right? The tunnel can establish, but HQ and brand cannot cannot access to each other. So what is the problem? It may be the VLAN mid mask, right? Maybe the subnet mid mask. This one. This one. Right? Local subnet and peer subnet mid mask. Uh, that's why the local uh, the SQ and brains cannot connect to each other. Even even the tunnel is a success. And the second thing may be related to MTU. Okay. So the solution is check the subnet configuration on both SQ and brands router. And the second solution is change the MTU on easy one. How to change the MTU? Here is MTU, right? The recommend is change to one two zero zero. 